Hello friends, this video on statistics part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 13. Graphical representation of cumulative frequency distribution. So there are three kind of representation, less than type, more than type and we have a method of locating the median from the graph. So in this thing, we'll do three things. First thing is we'll do a draw less than type graph, we'll draw a more than type graph and we'll study how to locate the median from the graph. So let's take the less than type graph. For less than type graph, what we have to do, so if you see here it is 0 to 10, 10 to 20. So we have to find right less than 10 less than or equal to 10. This is done. Second will be less than or equal to 20. This is done. Similarly, we have to do for less than or equal to, I will write 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 and 100. Correct? This is all less than or equal to, I am not writing it. So, we can assume that it is written here. So, for this, I have to say less than or equal to 10. So, what are the values that are less than or equal to 10? It is 5 only. So, it will be 5. Less than or equal to 20. So, less than or equal to 20 are this value plus this value. Correct? If you are talking about 20 less than or equal to 20, this is all the value from here to where you add. That is 5 plus 3. That is 8. We are talking about less than or equal to 30. That means from here I need to add all the values. That is 4 plus 3 plus 5. That is 5 plus 3 plus 4. That is 8 plus 3, 12. Similarly, for less than or equal to 40, from here I add all the values. So this becomes this till here it is 12, 12 plus 3, that is 15. Correct? 4 plus 3, 7, 3, 10, 15. For 50, I have to add all these values. Till here it is 15 plus 3, 18. So this becomes 18. For 50 to 60, I have to add all these values. 4 plus 3, 7, 3, 10, 14, 14 and 3, 17 plus 5, 22. Similarly for 70, I get 22 plus 7, 29. And for 80, I get 29 plus 9, that is 38. For 90, I get 38 plus 7, 45. And for 100, I get 45 plus 8, 53. Correct? If I want less than or equal to 100, I add all the values. If I want less than or equal to 80, I want all the values from here to here. I got these values. Now, let me draw the graph. So, I am drawing a less than type graph. Less than type graph, you see, I have 10, the upper limit 10, the values are 0 to 10, this is 5, so we will 5 here, less than 20 is 8, so let me put 8 here, little more. Less than 30 is 12, so here, less than 40 is 15, somewhere here, 50 is 18, somewhere here, less than 60 is again 22, somewhere here, 70 is uh, 29, somewhere here, less than 80 is 38, somewhere here, less than 90 is 30, 45. And less than 153. So if you draw a graph like this, what you get is this kind of graph. Correct? And now what is the value of n by 2? n is 53. So n by 2 will be somewhere here. Uh, 53 by 2. 26.5 so it will be somewhere here so if you draw a line parallel to this point a parallel to x axis it cuts somewhere here 
somewhere here. And this value, if you see somewhere, it is normally around 66. Somewhere around 66. This value. So we can say that from this graph, I can say that the median is 66, almost 66. See, what I have to do is, I have to draw a less than type graph. Then I have to find the value of n by 2. And from that point, you draw a parallel line. This cuts this, this graph at 66. So, median is 66. Correct. Hope this is clear. For less than type graph, you have to find less than. So, I am saying less than 10. I got this value 5. Less than 20. All this value. I got all the less than values. Protect the graph. Got n by 2. Draw a parallel line, parallel line from this n by 2 parallel to this x axis. It touches the graph at a point and that is nothing but the median. So we can draw, find the median using the graph, less than type graph. Let's draw a more than type graph. The same data. Again, in this case, we define. So we have to say more than or equal to 0. More than or equal to up to 0. This is 10. Correct? Here I am taking the lower limits. Please note in the less than graph I took the upper limits. Right? Less than 10, less than 20. Here I have to take the lower limits. More than 0, more than 10, more than equal to 10. More than or equal to 20. Similarly 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Maximum is 90. This guy more than equal to 9. So now the question is more than 0. How many values? So for more than 0, I'll take all this value. So if I add all this, 8, 7, 9, this, this, I get 53. That we have done in the last example also. If you add 5 plus 3 plus 4 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 plus 7 plus 9 plus 7 plus 8, it's equal to 53. I have to take more than 10 now. So these values. That is from 53, subtract 5. That is 53 minus 5, that is 48. I am talking about more than 20, all these values. So these two have to subtract, right? From 48, you subtract 3. So I say so 48 minus 3. Why? Because till this point it is 48, 48 here till this point. And from this, we subtracting this to get these values. I get 48 minus 3, that is 40. Now I want these values more than 30. So for this I have to take till this is 45 from this you will subtract 4. This becomes 45 minus 4 that is. Similarly for 40 more than 40 till this is 41 from here you will subtract 3. This becomes 41 minus 3 that is 38. Now for 50 more than 50 again Till this point it is 38, from this subtract 3. More than 60, again for this, till here it is 35, from here subtract 4. Now 70, till here it is 31, from here subtract 7. For 80, till here it is 24, from here subtract 9. For 90, till here it is 15 actually, right? From here till this is 15. From here you subtract 7 because this distance is 15. From here you subtract this guy, 7 guy, so you get these values. This becomes 15 minus 7. Correct? So this we have got. This is all more than more than or equal to. Okay? I have these values. Now let you plot the graph. For 0, 53, please note it's, it touches this point here now. It's 53. Then for 10, it is 48. Then it is 20, it is 45. 30, it is 41. 40, it is 38. Then 35. 60 is uh, 31, 
सेवेंटी इज ट्वेंटी फोर एंड एटी इज फिफ्टीन एंड नाइनटी इज एट दिस द ग्राफ आई कॉन सी प्लॉट एट दीज पॉइंट लाइक दिस ग्रेट ग्राफ लाइक दिस करेक्ट आई गॉट दिस ग्राफ नो अगेन आई टू फाइंड दिस मीडियन वॉट कैन आई डू Again from n by two, that is uh, n is fifty three, fifty three by two, that is twenty six point five. So from somewhere here, if I draw a line like this, it again if you see that is somewhere in sixty six. So we can say that median is equal to sixty six. So from this graph also we can say median is equal to sixty six. Correct. The approach is you can draw either more than type or less than type. Then you draw, you take this point n by two, and from this point draw a line parallel to x-axis. You get the median. Also, one more way to find median is you draw both type. For example, in this case we have seen uh, I'm drawing this uh, less than type. So less than type graph my was something like this, correct? And more than type graph. Was something like this, starting from fifty six. You draw both type of graph. The point where it meet. So in this case, also if you see it meet somewhere in near sixty six. The point where it meet is a median. So there are two way to locate the median. First is either you draw the normal either of the uh, graph that is. More than type or less than type, and draw a line from n by two, or you draw both the graph, and the midpoint is n by two. Correct. That is how you get the median of the graph. Thank you. Visit examfear. dot com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.